extensor muscles of the forearm are two groups superficial and the deep group the the superficial group is formed by seven muscles while the deep group is formed by five muscles the superficial group are brachioradialis extensor carpi radialis longus extensor carpi radialis briefs extensor digitorum extensor digiti minimi extensor carpi ulnaris and anconius muscle while the deep muscles are abductor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis extensor pollicis longus extensor indices and subinator muscles these extensor muscles are superficial group and the deep group of muscles the superficial group from lateral to medial they are brachioradialis which takes origin from upper two-thirds of the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus while the insertion into the lower end of the radius at the base of styloid process nerve supply from the radial nerve action flex the elbow it may initiate pronation or initiate supination so both the forearm midway between pronation and supination the brachioradialis muscle this origin from lateral supracondylar ridge then is inserted at the base of styloid process of the radius extensor carpi radialis longus takes origin from the lower third of lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus insertion into the dorsum of the base of the second metacarpal bone nerve supply from the radial nerve while the action extends and the abducts the wrist joint. Then extensor carpi radialis briefs takes origin from the lateral epicondyle or common extensor origin. Insertion into the dorsum of the base of the third metacarpal bone. Nerve supply from the posterior interosseous nerve which is the deep branch of the radial nerve. Action extends the wrist joint. This is extensor carpi radialis longus and the extensor carpi radialis briefs. This is the longus and this is extensor carpi radialis briefs. Extensor digitorum takes origin from the lateral epicondyle, common extensor origin, insertion by four tendons to the extensor expansion of the medial four fingers. Nerve supply from the posterior interosseous nerve. Action extends the proximal phalanx of the medial four fingers and extends the wrist joint also. Extensor digiti minimi takes origin from the lateral epicondyle, common extensor origin, insertion by tendon, which joins the expansion of on the back of the proximal phalanx of the little finger. Nerve supply from the posterior interosseous nerve. Action extends the proximal phalanx of the little finger and helps in the extending the wrist. Yeah, this is extensor carpi radialis longus and debris. This is the extensor digitorum and this is the extensor digiti minimi. Extensor expansion. Each tendon of extensor digitorum expands over the back of the proximal phalanx of the medial four fingers to form extensor expansion. Each extensor expansion receives part of insertion of the one lumbrical muscle and either one or two of the interosseous muscles. The extensor expansion of the index finger is joined by tendon of the extensor indices and the extensor expansion of the little finger is joined by tendon of the extensor digiti minimi muscle. Each extensor expansion divided into three slips. Middle slip, the median part and they become attached to the base of the middle phalanx while the two lateral slips converge and united again to be inserted into the base of the terminal phalanx.
of the medial four fingers. This is the extensor expansion, stars here in the dorsum of the proximal phalanx, divided into three parts, median part, and this is two lateral parts. Extensor carpi ulnaris takes the origin from the lateral epicondyle, common extensor origin, and the posterior border of the ulna, inserted into the base of the fifth metacarpal bone. Nerve supply from the posterior interosseous nerve. Action extends the wrist and adduct the hand. Anconius muscle is a short triangular muscle, lies at the lateral part of the back of the elbow. It may be considered as fourth head of the triceps. Takes origin from the lateral epicondyle, inserted into the lateral border of the olecranon process and the upper third of the back of the ulna. Nerve supply from the radial nerve action extends the elbow joint. This is the anconeous muscle, triangular muscle here. Then superficial group of the extensor muscles, brachioradialis again takes origin from upper two thirds of the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus and inserted at the lower end of the radius at the base of styloid process. The second is extensor carpi radialis longus, takes origin from the lower third of the lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus, inserted into the dorsum of the base of the second metacarpal bone. These two muscles are supplied from main trunk of the radial nerve. Action, the first one, brachioradialis, flick the elbow, and they may initiate pronation or supination, while extensor carpi radialis longus extend and abduct the rest. The third muscle extensor carpi radialis breathes. Takes origin the same common extensor origin insertion in the dorsum of the base of the third metacarpal bone. Action extends the rest joint. Extensor digitorum extensor digiti minimi extensor carpi ulnaris and the anconeus origin from lateral epicondyle of the humerus and inserted extensor carpi radialis breathes in the dorsum of the base of the third metacarpal while extensor digitorum by four tendons to the expansion of the medial four fingers, extensor digiti minimi in the expansion of the little finger, extensor carpi ulnaris in the base of the fifth metacarpal bone. All these are supplied from posterior interosseous nerve, while the anconeous muscle supplied from main trunk of the radial nerve.